Hi everybody, it's lesson two of science, evolution and inheritance and we're going to start off with a quiz to recap what you learned last time. So, you'll see that these questions are written down on your resource, so the sheet that you've been assigned on Teams or that's in your paper pack. So, please pause the video now and have a go at doing the questions first and then purple pen the answers. So, it'll be really interesting to see how much you've remembered from last week. So, question number one. Pause the video now, have a go, and then press play when you're ready for the answer. The answer to the question, what does every cell in the body, with the exception of red blood cells, contain, is a nucleus. Purple pen that if you got it wrong. Well done if you got it right. Question two. Pause the video now to have a go at question two. How many chromosomes do the root? reproductive cells contain? Right then, time for the answer. How many chromosomes do the reproductive cells contain? The answer is 23. Question three. What is the term for passing on DNA through the process of reproduction? Pause the video now to write your answer and then press play when you are ready to move on. The answer is inheritance. Take a look at the following animal offspring. So this is a little bit of fun and work out which breeds of animal they have inherited their characteristics from. So you're going to see an animal and you think, who are the parents? What breed of animals have been bred together to make this offspring? So let's take a look. So, mm, think it through. What do you think this is the offspring of? Three, two, one. A lion and a tiger. I am the offspring of, three, two, one, a zebra and a horse. I am the offspring of, three, two, one, a lion and a leopard. I am the offspring of, three, two, one, a donkey and a zebra. I am the offspring of, this is a really weird one, three, two, one, a sheep and a pig. So. We're going to explain the concept of nature versus nurture when it comes to inheritance. So you might have heard people talking about the nature versus nurture debate before. And we're going to go into that a little bit before we move any further with our evolution learning. Because it's really important to understand how we get the characteristics that we have now. Um, and how some of those change depending on our environment. And how some of them are just within us because we've been past them from our parents. If you have a sibling, you will probably share a few similar characteristics. These will have been inherited from the parents that you share. This will mean that you are similar to them in some ways, such as your eye colour, for example. There will also be some differences between you and your sibling because you will have inherited a different set of chromosomes to them. In other words, the 23 chromosomes that you inherited may not be the exact same 23 that they have inherited. Remember that we talked about last week, if you put 46 marbles into a bag and you could only pick out 23, if you did that and then someone else did that straight after, they wouldn't end up with the same exact 23 as you. And that's what it's like when you are having um, multiple children, when there are siblings. So your brother and your sister, they all got, you, your brothers, your sisters, everybody got the um, inherited genes from the same parents, if you share the same parents. And then those two will be different because it's not always the same. So you're not going to have an identical sibling. In fact, when we're talking about all the combinations of 23 different chromosome pairs, there are 8,324,609 possible combinations. So that's before you even start to think about the genes within the chromosomes. Crazy. So here are two sisters. The sister one with brown hair and brown eyes. Um, her earlobes are attached. Now what that means is that the very bottom, do you know where um, some people get their ears pierced? You might be able to feel yours now. You can feel whether or not when it loops towards your face, it um, is touching your ear your ear to your face is touching or there's like a little dip inwards um, and so it's a little bit uh, flappy if you will so that's what it means attached earlobes when they're not flappy so sister one cannot ride a bike and sister one has her second toe longer than her biggest toe 
Now, sister two, you can see they look alike, don't they? They've got the same kind of face shape. They've got that same wide smile. Noses are very the same. Eyes are very the same. There's some things that are different. Hair colour for one. But there are other things too. So let's have a look. Sister two has brown eyes and blonde hair. For the purpose of this, we are saying that sister two and sister one, they do not dye their hair. These are their natural hair colours. Sister two has freckles. Sister two likes reading poetry. Sister two ha like, has dimples. And sister two has straight hair. So um, she also likes sprouts. Um, so um, which are the inherited traits that these sisters have? So um, you're going to think which things were passed down from their parents. Um, pause the video now. You've got a resource um, that matches this, this slide. So I want you to have a go at that. And then you can purple pen when you find out the answers when you press play again. OK, pause the video now. OK, off we go. So all of these things that are highlighted in yellow are inherited traits. So sister one and sister two have inherited their brown eyes from their shared parents. They've also inherited their brown hair and their blonde hair from their parents. That means that somewhere in their ancestry line, the DNA of their parents or grandparents includes brown hair DNA and blonde hair DNA. Um, you, you actually inherit whether you've got attached earlobes or not. You also inherit really random things like whether your second toe is bigger than your biggest toe. Um, that's inherited from somebody in your family. So you look down at your feet, give them a wiggle. wiggle. Um, and if you've got your second toe longer than the bigger toe, go and ask your parents. Say, let me just check out your feet. Random bit of science homework there. Um, freckles are inherited from your parents' DNA. Even if your parents don't show that they've got freckles, then you may inherit them from um, their other family members that have also given them that, that DNA. So they can still have the DNA, even though they don't show that trait. Dimples are inherited and straight hair and curly hair. They're both inherited too. Um, but it's not inherited that you can ride a bike. You learn to do that. It's not inherited that you like to read poetry. You learn to develop a like for something. And that applies to sprouts as well. So moving on. We know that through the process of reproduction, we inherit our DNA through the 23 chromosomes in each reproductive cell. Now, the DNA becomes our traits. This is called nature. Nature, the process of reproduction in nature, has given us this DNA and these traits. Now, in our lifetime, we um, actually develop likes and dislikes. They influence us in certain ways. So things like now, like whether or not you like riding a bike or on your skateboard or whether you like gaming or whether you like reading these are your likes and your dislikes they don't come from our parents dna but they might come from the way in which we've been brought up so our experiences and our interactions they shape who we become and this is nurture think of nurture as somebody intervening and helping it go that way um so over your life obviously these things will change all the time depending on who it is that is um influencing you so you might now be really interested in i might sound really like out of date now i don't know minecraft who knows that's out of date or not i don't know but um, if you do love it, it's probably because all your friends love it too. And if you don't love it anymore, and you did before, it's probably because your friends don't love it now. So it's all that's to do with nurture, the way that your environment kind of moulds you into who you are becoming. That's nurture. Right then, so can you, last um, couple of jobs, can you think of any characteristics that you might get through nurture? So not nature now, not what your parents will pass on through nurture and you've got this task to do on your resource so jot them down and then press play when you're ready to move on okay moving on these are some of the characteristics that you may acquire through nurture you might get the foods that you like and dislike the language you speak because anybody it's not in your dna what you language you speak um whether you can or can't ride a bike if you prefer dogs or cats the music that you like or dislike big muscles and strength because even if you've got a really strong parent you've got to build those muscles through your nurture don't you 
um, your knowledge is from nurture. So even if you've got a clever parent, you've got to put in the hard work yourself to make sure that you end up being clever. And any writing skills, any skills that you've actually got, like uh, if you can do like wheelies on your bike or kickflips on your skateboard, that's nurture as well. And that is the end of our science lesson for today. Now, what I'd like you to do as an extra task is I'd like you, if you've got spare time, to go off onto maybe YouTube, be careful with the videos that you pick, or to BBC Bite Size, probably best BBC Bite Size now, actually thinking about it. So ignore the YouTube comment, go to BBC Bite Size and start to think about Googling evolution and inheritance. Google inheritance, Google nature versus nurture and find some information out. And your secondary task alongside your resource is to type up notes or write up notes that you found out about nature versus nurture and inheritance. So that's your last job. OK, so that should take you a good 20 minutes or so to do some nice writing on that on the end of the resource. OK, then, guys, we look forward to seeing your responses. Goodbye.